Hey, Josh Zarin here. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Android tablet such as this Kindle Fire HD 8, which takes a few extra steps to get there. You have to install the Google Play Store, and there's four steps to install that. I'll show you on the computer where to get that. And basically, uh, you can shoot tethered uh, for photography, and you can use it to monitor your video, which is really, really, really nice. A lot nicer than the little flip screen. And as you've probably seen, the Kindle Fires are very, very cheap. I got this for $59. And that is a lot cheaper than an HDMI monitor and a lot more versatile because, hey, you can check Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. And uh, I'm using it right now. I'm gonna switch to this camera here. And you can see I got my mic here, the Kindle Fire in its case with the little cord, I'm tethered. And uh, this is a Tether Tools cord, so you probably already have it. Uh, it's the one that comes with the camera also. Uh, this is a little bit overkill. This is a 20 foot cord. You don't really need that unless you're actually gonna use it off camera. Um, I'm thinking after looking at this, I may use it on a tripod or something like that. I'm not really digging it on the top of the camera because if I do look up there, this happens. And that's not very nice. It's not very nice for me or you. So here we go. If you have a Kindle Fire, the first thing you want to do is go to lovemyfire.com to this link. I'll put it in the description also. If you have a regular Android other than a Kindle Fire, just you can skip this part and go to 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So you just scroll down the page when you get to Google Account Manager, Google Services Framework, Google Play Services, and Google Store. Uh, you want to download all four of those and uh, you can also just follow the instructions on this web page. Once it's downloaded you go to Docs and in there you'll see your download folder. There's four files and you need to install them in order that they were downloaded. Now once that's all taken care of you just head to the Google Play Store and type in QDSLR and it should pull up QDSLR dashboard and you just download and install that. When I got it, there is a fee of $7.99. The next step is the on-the-go adapter, and I went with this Insignia because it's skinny on the end, so I don't have to take my case off. For the mounting purposes, I went with the iPal iPad tripod adapter, and it has many, many uses. Uh, you can mount it to your tripod, to the top of your camera with the right adapter. And all this is is a metal quarter inch thread to hot shoe adapter. And you can find these all over Amazon. Just make sure you get one with good reviews that's actually made out of solid metal. The next step is plugging your camera's USB cable into your camera. And then you plug it into the OTG cable or adapter. Then you just plug it into your tablet with your camera still off. You turn your camera on and after one or two uses it should automatically open the app. Then you connect the USB and you're good to go. Thanks for checking this video out. Please subscribe and tell your friends and smash that like button. Keep creating and keep it awesome.